Hey guys, what's up? Guitar Player Nick here. You can see me in the camera here. Got a haircut. Um, today I'm going to be actually doing a uh, different video. Um, a special video on Jelly Bean on the uh, Transformer TF300. I just got this guy the other day um, at Best Buy. They're having a, a special deal where you could get the 16 gig for 350. Um, so I had some money saved up for a tablet. Um, so I decided to uh, go for this one. So first of all, I'm going to boot it up for you. Sorry about the bad reflection going on right here. Might have to change my angle a bit. Anyway, so Jelly Bean on this. To be honest, when I first uh, updated it, I couldn't really tell much of a difference. And I'm big on the whole lag thing with Android and the fragmentation and all the issues with Android. I have an iPhone that I use mostly. And although I did, I did want to try Android though, because this looked like a really, uh, really good tablet. And I read reviews and I watched video reviews on it. Um, and it is a uh, great Android tablet. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. It's just awesome. So the things that did actually stand out, I mean, um, you can see the lock screen changed up a bit. I can try to zoom in a bit for you. Um, you have this little, like, fingerprint type of thing, these little dots. Um, you have access to Google now, which I'll go over in a little bit. And then you have the um, slide to uh, go to the camera. Nothing really changed here. It is probably one of the smoothest Android experiences, um, with the exception of the Nexus 7. I'm going to uh, about, and as you can see, 4.1.1. So you can do that little thing where you tap, and then you get the jelly bean icon here. As you hold. And here's that beloved jelly bean game. You can um, swipe the uh, little jelly beans off. Anyway, so back to um, Jelly Bean, the features. Um, you can tell when you open something like settings, how it comes up from the bottom. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, the iPad. Now, um, with web browsing, um, I've noticed um, it's a bit smoother. I'll go ahead and load up and gadget for you. It says it as a sample here. And my network here. I don't know why it's why it's acting up right now. Sorry about that, guys. I was having uh, some uh, network issues there. But with Adobe Flash turned on, this is the uh, desktop site version. The thing I like about um, 4.1 on the Transformer is that it does support Adobe Flash since uh, there is still the stock browser available. And as you can see, very smooth uh, transitions. Um, and scrolling is pretty smooth. I like this little bar too that Asus has, or stock Android. But as you can see, great web experience. Now again, the screen on this is not the best screen. It's a, a 1280 by 800 resolution, which is perfectly fine in my opinion for, for pretty much just doing basic tablet things. I mean, I don't really notice much difference between this and like... Um, well, I haven't used the Transformer Pad Infinity, but this and the um, the Retina iPad, the new iPad, I mean, slight difference. I mean, some people might notice it more, but I don't know. But as you can see, transitions, um, very smooth with opening the, um, the apps menu. Um, I think that's what it's called in Android. So, it has made things... Um, a little smoother, nothing too crazy, but I would definitely upgrade or update um, when you get the update on your transformer. The uh, TF300 was the first to uh, get the update. So uh, let's go ahead and check out um, Google Now. Um, now I, I know I could have just went there. In fact, I'm gonna I'm just gonna tap the little mic there. What's the weather like? It's 79 degrees and mostly cloudy in Alexandria. So as you can see, pretty good. In my opinion, just as good as Siri. Although the one thing I have noticed is it's not like, if, if I say, tell me a joke. No, tell me a joke. Uh-oh. Whoops. Tell me a joke. 
it Google searches it. It won't actually tell me a joke. So, I mean, um, some of this is just less human-like in my opinion. The voice is better, I think, less robotic. But other than that, though, it's it's just it's a, it's a good feature to have. Another thing I've noticed is in uh, Netflix. I've noticed Netflix is a lot less laggy than it was in Ice Cream Sandwich. Now this could have just been on here on the TF300, but either way, um, I think it's a big difference. Uh, let me hold on and go scroll down here. So as you can see, it's still a little choppy sometimes, but viewing viewing um, content on Netflix is pretty smooth. Um, haven't had any problems with it. Quality is decent. So you can tell I've I just noticed it's a lot smoother than um before. So anyway. Second thing I've noticed with um Jelly Bean is the recent apps. When you swipe off the screen it's a lot quicker. You can just see they just shoot off the screen, which I really like about it. Just makes it feel a lot snappier, um, and performance-wise, it's just um, really good. So overall, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, nothing too too crazy in my opinion. I mean, it's just they're nice things to have. Tablets, um, tiny bit quicker. Um, I thought it was very quick on Ice Cream Sandwich, and I didn't really expect an uh, an update to Jelly Bean. But what do you know? That's Jelly Bean. Definitely um, get it on your transformer. It definitely makes things snappier. So, this has been Guitar Player Nick with the Asus Transformer Pad TF300 running Jelly Bean. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe.